Okay, here we are. Um, we've got a bit of a swell on today. The wind's dropped off, but it should pick up soon. Um, we've just setting up and had a good jig out the back, and uh, we found one. I want to try to get some snapper today. Uh, so welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe, and uh, we've got a nice little squid there we're going to use for bait. I'll get him off and uh, I can see he's ready to squirt these little ones. You can't trust them. We got him. And he's going for bait. Be sure to subscribe, eh? <laughs> well, we're getting a touch. Oh, damn it. It was a decent one, that one. Let's see if we can get him again. come back or if he's got a mate next to him we got one on ice there so we'll be slicing him up no wind but there's a bit of bump on it's just on it. Here we go. We're on a little small one here. any followers down there. Oh, there's a big follower behind him. So it's, oh, it is, it's gone for the jig. Oh, wow. Let's try to get him. He's actually attacking the, the squid. First, he's a bigger squid. He wants to stay. This one's this one's a horse. Okay. So we'll get him in. We'll get his water out. This guy, I'll just quickly measure him. Here's a 33 centimetre hook, this one. Look at that bad boy. All right, let's get, let's get his mate in. Woo. He's still on. Woo. 
So we've got enough for, for the moment. So it's the middle of the day and I'll show you guys. Hey Siri, what's the time? Hey Siri, what's the time? It's 1.05 p.m. One o'clock in the Arvo. They reckon middle of the day is not a good time to chase squid. I was reading it on, oh, I was reading it online. So we've got that one. Let me get this one. And there we go. That's how we roll. It's a good shot. We didn't even have to edit this video. We'll, we've got about five minutes going there. And Dave's very happy. All right. Eggy head squidging's doing the damage. The wind's dropped right off. I was only going to use three rods. Um, but what I will do. Um, to get a few more for a feed and then start focusing on the snapper but we'll, we'll just keep mixing it up see and see what happens get all these eggy head jigs in the water eggy head rods i'll just pepper them out everywhere a couple of different colors that's the one that got that big one that eggy head there that's a black pearl Pretty good chick, that one. It's caught a fair few big ones on my videos. If you uh, go back through the archives, I've got a lot of videos there. And um, yeah, that one tends to uh, get a few big squid, that, that chick, for some reason. No color theories. Just keep just keep changing your jigs if you're not getting anything. But um, sometimes I'll just hit any color, any color, depending on the day. I could be using pink, and that could be firing it. You know, don't worry about these colour theories on a sunny day, use this colour. Squid can see everything, don't worry. If they want your jig, they're going to hit it. So what the idea here is now, just making sure we're hitting bottom, okay? So now that we've, we've hit the bottom, and we're not moving very fast in the boat, I'll uh, work it back. Leave that down, let it work its way down. So that'll now just start sort of approaching the boat on, on a descent. On a descent. That one there's still sinking. Right. Just hit bottom there. where you want to be, you want to hit the bottom. So we did have a frozen squid in there, and we've got a fresh in now as well. And we've got two that we're going to keep in the esky for a feed. So three squid in total caught, that first drift, and let's see if we can keep pumping them along. Two 
across out the background over there. I hope they're not fencing. They did something more sweet. A white jig, a black, uh, black base pearl jig, and this one's a multicolored jig. So all the colors are working at the moment. See the whales in the background. Have a look. making a mess. That's the jig we're using and he's a very nice squid. So another ex another example of not uh following colour theories. Okay? It's a nice one. Good eating size. Alright, let's go. Okay so three drifts or four squid. Now I'll start putting a bait down there. We'll just, uh, we'll get these ones out there. Keep this on right away from the boat. Try to avoid tangles. We'll get these squid jigs out again. Bit of, bit of a breeze picking up. change some because I want a bigger profile and I thought I lost this other uh, Shigason jig this old school one that's been getting me a fair few squid it's got a silver base um, it's been working well for me lately so I was thinking I couldn't find it. it it was buried in my boat so where can we get this one so we'll get this one out out that way let them work their ways down this one here's the bait rod Hopefully I don't forget what's happening there. It's still sinking. This one's in bottom yet. This one looks like it's on bottom, so we'll start working him. We can get some snapper. Oh, still lumpy out here. It's like a bit of a washing machine. Rock bottom on this one. Work these squidgies. getting squid. It's not too, they're not too big, they're good eating size ones. Let's see if we can make my life a little bit easier if there's a follower. Nope. And that was that, that was that jig that I just changed that I said was been working with. Oh, there is a follower, he's come up now. Okay, so we'll set the drag.
stuff around too much with it, but let's try getting him. Very aggressive, this one. That was that one that I just said that we lost. Let's try getting back down there. Let's see if we'll show some interest. Oh, that looks like we might have another one on. Or a snag. Yeah, we're on to another one. Good action here with Eggy Head Squid Jigs. <laughs> Squeeze out. Okay, there's that squid jig working. As I said, decent squid that one. Let's keep going. You just get no squid, and it looks like a, a snapper's jumped on, and it feels like it might be illegal. Yeah, he's a good snapper, this one. It'd have to be 33, 34 I reckon. I can see him on the squid strip. Oh, he's up. Good. Oh, beautiful. Oh, he's a great snapper. That's what we're after. How good's that? After. Just look at these guys. But just, just look at this. Look, so that you know I'm not playing any tricks. That was that drift there. Look. It's not a bad drift. Lovely. You. <laughs> Just about to move. I think this might be a cuttlefish. It's not really fighting like a squid. But I could be wrong. Oh no, it's a squid. Okay. But I found that jig that seems to be performing pretty good, that one. the damage again and I was just about to move look look he's trying to attack me this one look he doesn't want to doesn't want to bar me get out of here come on bag him up oh he's got that. come on in the bag you go Jeez, I'm losing count now just bag him up like that to help keep things a little bit cleaner. Doesn't always work. Kind of move off and get another, and go to another drift. Yo, Dave Austin fishing. All right, just positioning myself again. I was sitting over a school of fish, so I'll get that bait down first. That squid strip. We're over a bait ball. From my experience, where those bait balls are, 
That's the one that's been on fire, that's Shagase and the old school one. I'm very happy with that. So let's get him out there. Get him out. And what are we going to do with this guy? Um, let's get this one over. Cast him down wind a bit. How's that place? Perfect drift for snapper. Heaps of bait under the boat now. So this should start getting this one should start getting captured pretty soon. the weight of the bait still on the hook. Still fill bait there, so that's good. Just bagging that last hook I got. camera on if we start getting some uh, activity. Come off that one. 
Loads of squid, loads of squid. Get it back down there while we're in the zone. Middle of the day, see you guys? Hey Siri, what's the time? It's 2.20 p.m. I got out here at midday, you know? It's not always like this, but you know, I see a lot of people saying, oh, you can't catch squid in the middle of the day. Yes, you can, and I've proven it many times. Most of the videos on, on this channel, they're all caught in the middle of the day. bagged up and uh, I'll reset. Okay, I'm approaching the end of my drift now, so... Oh, oh yeah, far out. Oh, oh. Well, I was all getting prepared to start recording. It's going to just on fly today. I don't want to waste this drift. Oh, we got one. Oh. I think that might have been sitting on weed or what about this one? We're into another one. Wow. Very, very active in the middle of the day. Hey Siri, what's the time? It's 2.28 p.m. Don't be scared to go out fishing in the middle of the day, that's for sure. Ah, we're going to steer this boat. No followers. It's that same old school Shigeisen jig working again. Oh, he's trying to bite me. He's getting quite aggressive here. They go, come on. That jig again. Love it. Absolutely love it. Happy days! Dave Austin and Eggy Head Squid Jigs do the damage again. Tell you what, this this old school Shigason, I still haven't had a chance to put that last squid away. 
I've pegged it out, let it sink. Just try to make sure I wasn't going to hit the bottom or get close to the bottom, but without snagging. And on the way down, he's just, just got smashed again. It's starting to become my favorite jig. Might have to give up on the squid. I think we've got way too many. We're not, we're not up to our bag limit, but I'm, I don't want to call it too early, but so, so I dare say there's about 10 in there. Oh, and there is a friggin' horse down there. That's the one, I, that's the squid I want. That's the one I want. Which one are we going to go for? This one. Let's get his mate. His mate's huge. He's got to be 35. Okay, let's see if we can get him on this. On this black pearl jig, he's just sitting there. He's coming for it. Please grab it, come on, come on. It's not interested in that jig there. Come on. He's a donkey. Oh, he's, oh, he's going for it. Nah, he wants the other one, he wants... Try to get this one off real quick and drop it back down. Try to get his mate. Let's see if he wants that jig. To be fair, this is a this is a bit of a horse of a squid. There he goes. He's not interested. Decent squid, that one. Yeah, I think I'm going to give up on the squid. I'll probably just keep one squid jig out there now to see what happens, but I want to try getting some more snapper if I can now. Nah, he's nice, he's... Nice. Good stuff. Whoa. Yo. Absolutely on fire at the moment, but let's switch over and get some, um, and try to get onto some, um, some snapper. So I'll have two jigs out now. Two rods with squid jigs and two rods with bait now. Just do a quick switch over. Let's get the bait out. Let's drop him straight. Let's drop him straight back down, feed it out the back. Whilst I find another 2 0 circle, there's not too many small ones around, so I can down my hook size. What do we want? 1 0 or a 2 0? You know what? We'll go a 3 0 just in case there's some bigger snapper around. <coughs> Everyone's still in lockdown and we're allowed to fish here, so. Okay, this 
one's either on the bottom. What I'll do with these baits, I'll actually start working these baits like a squid jig as well. A little bit more seat back. Okay, this is the bait. So we've got bait, squid jig, bait, squid jig. Probably a rock cod or a ras. Oh, it's a dragon, dragon snapper. We'll just get him off. Just work the work the baits a little bit. Again, see? I knew there was one down there. school shagason again oh they also had kelp on it have a look at that kelp <laughs> they got me water all right let's bag him you right eh? so i've just bagged that one cause a bit of kelp on that let's now yeah i think this will be the last drift i'll do with jigs i'm I'll probably uh not sure i might switch over to three baits and a jig and a squid jig but we'll see what happens Hang on. let's do a bank check Trips out. Let's go. Oh, my mate's here. This guy's my mate. Shave it a sec. Massive, it's like, an, it's like one of those brown albatrosses or something. I'll show you. It's a good mate, have a look. Here you going, champ. Come here. He'll come to the boat, I reckon, will he? Ooh. <laughs> Alright, let's keep fishing. There, so we've got another snapper on our hands. Good one too. 
close to a 40 I reckon. He's a screamer. Good. Oh, I'm tangled up to one of my lines. Oh, he's so juicy. Let me just get this guy off. Firing up the barbecue tomorrow. That's a shock. Let me just try to untangle my line here. in a sec guys, let me just fix this, I'll be back. That's what we're holding. Nice, same sort of size, the other one, what is he? Oh no, this one's a bit bigger, this one's a 39. 39 centimeter snapper. It's beautiful. Let's make get a nice photo. Look, he's chucking. Oh, he's, he's been feeding. All right, let's get him down. You. All right. You. I had a run on this one, and uh, and a. I saw it rip the bait off. So I pegged this one out, let it sink down slowly because I knew that's where the snapper would be. Or well, I'm hoping that's where they'd be, and it looks like I've hooked this one up. Yeah, he's a snapper. I don't know. If, yeah, he'll make legal too. That's number three legal snapper for me. Amazing. Yeah, he's probably going to be about 32. So you can see how I got tangled there. I'll just try to untangle him. That one's 31, so in he goes. Oh, sorry about that headache. All right, guys, I'll focus on the snapper now. We've got enough squid. So let's just uh, get three baits out and let's see how we go. Just about to change that battery. I thought this was actually, oh, this is something hitting the surface. Looks like a slimy or something's just hit it. Tail wrapped a slimy or something. Yeah, just a slimy. Make a good bait, but we'll let him go. That one's off. I think I just missed this bite. Bummer, gotta change that battery. Gotta 
to change that battery. Got something here that feels like uh, probably a mobile. It's not a snapper. Might be a Trevelli. Slaughter about them. On a little snapper, I think. I don't think he's gonna make legal though. But this will be the first undersized one of the session. We'll probably be just on or just under. That's the first undersized one of the session. These guys will probably start firing up now as the sun gets lower in the sky. Yeah, that's undersized, so. But, they're there. That's the important thing. Just bouncing them around. See if it attracts anything. Breeze is pushing us perfectly now. It's a good drift. Hey Siri, what's the time? It's 3.52 p.m. So four o'clock. Maybe these. We've had a pretty good middle of the day type of bike. I don't really think the afternoon's gonna to prove to be too successful, but we'll hang around till five o'clock or so and see if we can uh, get onto anything. Okay, so they've gone a bit quiet at the moment. Right underneath the school of fish stop. Like that one out the back. And I'll get these ones out wide. There's a school of there's a bait school sitting mid water there. on it. I think we'll swim towards the boat. Might be baited now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that bait. Snapper aren't scared to hit it on the way, on the drop. That's for sure. Alright, oh, something's just jumped on it now. Oh! Oh, they're hitting it again. They might be slimies. They're hitting it on the drop. They're hiding it amongst the bait schools. Oh, there's, there's fish feeding everywhere now. 
Okay, everything's turning on. Let's get this undersized one back in. Something small, and I think I've got some rubbish on the other one. This one's probably an undersized snapper, feels like. hour it's nearly five o'clock the last hour it's just kind of just sort of died off you know so it's one of those days where the middle of the day was a time to be fishing you know and um not always the case just sometimes the case we got fish right underneath the boat sitting on the bottom drift let's go very, very quiet afternoon. After four o'clock, just really, really died. Started fishing at midday. I was on the water at midday and uh, it all fired up. And now we just, uh, just very slow. See what we can let's see what we can deliver here. that one g'day guys I'm just going to interrupt this section of the video and bring you up to speed with what happens um, before I hit the record button so basically the rods buckled over I hook into a fish it ends up just being like a, a snapper above legal size nothing major and I'll get it into the boat and then keep watching from what happens there okay uh enjoy thanks Good fish. Good 
take it easy. This is this is the fish of the night. That one there's legal. He's probably about 32. That one, the one that's in the boat. Just gotta take it nice and easy with this one. Oh, this one's about to go too now. Oh, about to go. Be a good way to finish the session. This one's got to be over 40 centimeters if it's a snapper. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, come on, it's about to go. See this, guys. Okay, it's a good fish. This is, looks like it's got a good look up. That's a, that's a gun fish. Oh, we've got another one. <laughs> right on sunset. Yeah, this is a good fish too, guys. Oh, come on. A triple! <laughs> oh wow! Oh, this one's not that big, but it's probably in the 30s, low 40s. That one there's that one there's in the 40s for sure. Wow! I'm just trying to see where I am. I really didn't think I'd uh, I'd get any more. But that's three. That's that's that's. If I get this one in, that'll double. I oh, snapped a catch for the day. Let's see if he's down there. And he's legal. He's a legal size all day long. <laughs> How good is that? Can't wait. That's a wrap for us guys, I just, that's him. Let's just get him out there while I'm, while I'm packing everything. Stay no point. Let it sink. Check out this one. Said it's too dark, but that's in there, freaking beautiful. Woo! I'll let that one sink. Wow, what a beast! <laughs> I'll get everything sorted here, get him in the bags. Wow, triple, triple threat. Hey Siri, what's the time? It's 5.23 p.m. 5.23 p.m., wow, okay. Right on dark, so I'll leave that one out there. We might be able to get land another one. I'll just reset that camera. Who says there's no fish in Botany Bay? Who says? Well, they're not out of Botany Bay actually, but they're local and Tons, bags, and bags of squid. That one's particularly big. That one's at like a 35 centimeter hood or something. Yeah, about 14 squid today. And don't you just love them?